Celebrity Chefs is brought to you by... My name is Jen Beastie. I'm a chef owner of Shakewell Restaurant in Oakland, and I'm going to make some delicious recipes for you today. Uh, we're going to start off with some beef short rib, which is one of my favorite cuts of meat. A tough cut of meat. It takes some cooking, but there's a lot of fat in there that's going to release into the meat, and it has tons of flavor. This recipe combines a beef Provencal dish called beef dobe with uh, some subtle flavors that you'd find in a Mexican mole. This is a piece of uh, slightly aged beef. And uh, we're just gonna do some kosher salt, some nice fresh ground black pepper. This is the Provencal kind of end of it. We're gonna add some red wine. You could just use some cooking wine. We're gonna put a little fennel in here. We want big pieces of vegetables. We got some onion so that they retain themselves throughout the whole braising process. This thyme is gonna give a nice aromatic flavor to the beef. Some of my favorite things to eat is the big pieces of carrot from a braise because it absorbs all that flavor. So we're gonna get some nice garlic cloves in here. All right, so we're gonna put this in the fridge for a couple hours, let's say two hours. Um, but ideally, at home, if you can marinate this the day before, that would be best. We're gonna add some oil to the fat side because we're gonna get that to start rendering. So we're gonna just let this cook for a few minutes, brown the beef a little bit. Then we're gonna add the vegetables. When you add your wine, you're gonna wanna cook the wine by half, let it cook off. You don't wanna have too strong tanniny flavors coming out of that wine. We're gonna uh, start with that twist on this recipe. We're gonna add some tomato paste. The tomato paste is just gonna give it a nice bit of richness. Ancho chilies, so it's a dried poblano. It's also called a pasilla. It's gonna bring this braise to a whole nother level. And then we're gonna add a little bit of bittersweet chocolate. This is like a 60 or 70% bittersweet chocolate, and then coffee. So whatever nice ground coffee you have in the house is fine. Okay, so um, I'm actually using chicken stock today instead of veal stock, because I feel like chicken stock is a little bit more readily available. Quarter chicken stock. You never want it to boil. You just want a light, lazy bubble simmer. We're gonna get our lid on, and then this is gonna go in the oven at 350 degrees, two and a half, three hours. We're gonna get together a cauliflower puree. I, I choose cauliflower puree to go with the short rib because it's, uh, it's simple, it's earthy, sweet, and creamy, and rich. It's gonna really complement the um, flavors of the chocolate and the coffee and the ancho chili with the beef and the red wine, which are really bold. Whenever I make a rich dish like this, I like to pair it with something that's refreshing. This is kind of a version of a gremolata. But you can feel the oil coming off the lemon when you zest it. And then we're gonna do a little orange zest. A little bit of raw garlic. Capers, beautiful wild arugula, some flat leaf parsley. And then we also have some pickled Fresno chilies. So the short rib's done. You can just see how tender it is. It's gonna be so good. So we're gonna start our plate. Cauliflower puree. Oh, this came out so good. You don't need to slice this. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a spoon. We're gonna pull off a nice piece of this beef. All right, this is a good sized portion, but you're gonna eat it. You're gonna eat it all. This cooked for three hours. I think the sauce is perfect. But these carrots are gonna be so good. I'm gonna put a couple on the plate here. Then we have our gremolata. Pinch of pepper, a bit of salt. I'm just gonna give it a tiny couple drops of lemon, a couple drops of extra virgin olive oil. Here we go. And then I like to put a little extra virgin on the plate as well. There you have it. There's your chili chocolate braised short rib with red wine marinade, cauliflower puree, and a zesty citrus gremolata. Mm -hmm.